Hello everyone, and in this uh, image processing video, we are going to take a look at um, how the image information is stored uh, once we have loaded them with, uh, with the scikit image, as we've done in the, in the previous video. Um, so we're going to look at uh, data types, and we're going to look at the difference between uh, grayscale image and RGB uh, color image. Uh, so I've once again started uh, in a notebook. This time I've loaded uh, two I two different images. So the, the the greatest image that we've already seen in the previous previous video, and uh, another image which is uh, called here walking.jpg and which is a uh, black and white uh, video. So if we um, just print the contents of the uh, of the of the image here uh, on on the screen. We can see that we have uh, an, an array with uh, lots of values, uh, and the same for the uh, grayscale image. But we can already see that there is uh, a difference in the in the, in the shape of the, of the array. Uh, this is not very um, easy to look at it in this way. So one first thing we can do is to look at the uh, shape of the uh, NumPy array, and this is uh, really some basic information that you can quickly find about, about an image, uh, the shape of the uh, arrays so of the matrix that contains the uh, pixel values will tell us first the, um, the size of the, of the image. So in this case, we can know that it is uh, 900 pixels uh, in 8, uh, 1,200 pixels in width. And then we have this uh, tree uh, here, which is the, the, the third dimension of the image, which is the uh, color dimension. So this tree uh, is for the uh, red, green, and blue uh, color channels. Whereas in the uh, grayscale image, we have only two uh, values in this shape. So it's only a two-dimensional um, array, with, in this case, uh, s about 800 pixel uh, height and 640 pixel in uh, width. So uh, this is just a quick way of getting the, the an idea of the, the size of the image and if it's a uh, grayscale or RGB image. Uh, we could sometimes have also uh, four here um, in the case of RGBA images, so which have the uh, um, red, green, blue channel and also um, the uh, transparency value, so the alpha uh, channel. Um, another useful information to, to check is the uh, data type. So that's uh, something that we can also um, also quickly get here. And uh, the data type, um, so in, th in both cases here, we, we have the same. It's unsigned uh, integer with eight bits. Uh, and this um, will tell us the, um, the, the, the values that's, uh, that the, the, the pixel can take. So with unsigned integers and 8 bits, we know that every pixel will take a value between uh, 0 and uh, 255. Uh, and we can quickly check that uh, with the uh, max uh, method, um, which will tell us the maximum value uh, inside an array. And in both cases, it's 255. So um, this is the maximum value that we can find uh, right now in this um, in this array. Um, so normally the pixels that are um, uh, set at that have a value of zero correspond to uh, the black pixels and value of 255 to white pixels in a grayscale image. And of course, in the um, color image. Uh, We'll have the same, but for the three different channels. So a pure white uh, pixel will be 255 in all three channels. Pure black will be uh, zero in all three channels. And for instance, pure blue would be um, uh, uh, zero sorry, in the red and green channels and 255 in the blue channel. So how can we um, access the value of one specific pixel, we can uh, index the, um, the array first with the uh, y value, so the value along the, the, the y axis. Uh, so for instance, if we want to look in this image at a pixel somewhere close to the uh, top left, um, we would have a, a, a y value that is uh, relatively uh, small. So let's say, for instance, 10, uh, x value also 10, that would put us uh, somewhere here in the, in, the, in the sky. And if we print that we have a, um, a, a pixel value that is um, 
higher in the blue channel than in the, the others. The others are, are not um, that low because even though the sky uh, appears blue uh, here, uh, still uh, it's also very uh, bright. So it's actually blue but closer to uh, to white, and so we have uh, also uh, high values in the in the red and, and especially in the in the green um, in the green channels. Um, if we are taking a pixel somewhere in the in the bottom left, for instance, so that would be uh, let's say uh, 850 in the uh, in the Y, so that would put us over, over here. Um, this time we can see that we have a value that is higher in the uh, slightly higher in the in the in the green, but it's mostly uh, gray. So it's almost the same value in all three channels. So that tells us that it's a gray pixel, so somewhere in in the in the rock probably uh, over here. If we do the same thing in the um, in the gray scale image, this time we will only get uh, one value for one pixel, so the gray scale value. In this case, uh, a relatively high value. So this is a um, bright pixel, probably somewhere uh, over here. Um, if we manage to to find a pixel uh, in here, it would be close to um, close to zero. Um, so that's uh, that's uh, it for the for the very um, basic information that we that we can get um, in in, uh, in an image. And in the next video, we'll see how we can uh, compile um, some of those informations uh, in image uh, histograms.